how to install Proton AOSP ROM based on Android 11 on the Xiaomi Mi 11X or the Redmi K40 or the Poco F3. Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install Proton AOSP ROM based on Android 11 on the Xiaomi Mi 11X, the Redmi K40 or the Poco F3. Now, what are the prerequisites for this video? Well, for starters, you do need to have an unlocked bootloader. Then you do need access to a computer to flash the ROM, preferably an Intel computer. Also make sure your battery is charged at least 50 to 60%. Do not do this process if your battery is at 20 or 30%. Also make sure you have a backup of all your pictures, videos, anything important which you have on your device because we are going to perform a format data. You are going to lose all your pictures, videos, and anything important which you have on your device. Now do note I have the Poco F3, but the process will work on the Mi 11X as well. You just need to download the correct file for your device and before you ask me can this be done without a computer unfortunately at the time of recording the video that is not possible so here it is i do have the poco f3 which is running miui 12.5.1 based on android 11. first up we are going to go into settings password and security remove your screen lock fingerprint and face unlock once that is done go back go into me account and remove your me account once that is done go into accounts and sync and remove your google account once you have removed all the accounts and security measures make sure you reboot your device once now why are we removing all the accounts and security measures we're doing this because we are going from one rom to another and i don't want you to be locked out of your own device next thing we need to do is we need to boot into fast boot mode so for starters turn off your device and once the device has turned off press and hold volume down and power button at the same time till you see the fast boot logo so this here is the fast boot logo on miui devices and at this point you do need to connect your phone to the computer using a usb cable so here we are on the computer and i do have all the files which we need inside one folder so for starters you do need the platform tools and then you need the proton aosp rom itself do note that the rom is available for two separate device code names first it is available for alloyth so poco f3 users need to download the alloyth one those of you who have mi 11x you need to download the alloyth in again poco f3 alloyth mi 11x alloyth in also you do have a build without g apps for each of those options so if you want a build without google apps you can use that build as well and of course platform tools i do recommend you download it from the official android developers website because nothing better than the official one now you also need a software which will help you unarchive this platform tools and i am using winrar you can use any software which you want to select the file right click and say extract here now once it has extracted you will notice we have a folder called platform tools if i go inside this folder i have my adb over here and i should also have the fast boot file over here so here it is both the files are present over here next thing we can go back and select this proton aosp file and cut it go back into platform tools where you have adb and fast boot and paste it over here once that is done we need to open command prompt so go to the address bar make sure everything is selected here and type in cmd press the enter key it is going to open up command prompt and we are in the correct folder first command we are going to execute is to check whether our device is being detected in fast boot mode or not so the command for that is fast boot devices and once we have entered the command we will press the enter key and there it is you can see my device is being detected in fast boot mode now if your device is not being detected in fast boot mode that means you do not have the drivers installed or when you connect your device to the computer in fast boot mode you get the error of press any key to shut down that means you might have an amd computer drivers amd fix both are linked in the description of the video unzip the files execute as admin reboot your computer and you should be good to go another fix for press any key to shut down error is to try a usb 2.0 
port now the next command we need to execute is to install the rom so the command for that is fastboot update and name of the file so i have entered fastboot space update next i need to plug in the name of the file now just to make my life easier what i will do is i will go here and also open command prompt and drag and drop this rom into command prompt there it is you can see the name was plugged in that's it as easy as it gets you don't have to like type it in just drag and drop and then press the enter key and there it is you can see we are flashing the rom and do note it will take some time for the process to finish make sure that you do not and i repeat you do not disconnect your device and just a small note the device did reboot because there is script in there and as you can see we are now in fast boot d and if you see your screen it is still sending stuff to the device so again do not disconnect your phone from the computer let it do its thing and another pro tip i would like to mention is that if you have any like battery saving tips on your computer laptop make sure those are turned off you do not want your laptop or computer turning off or going to sleep in the middle of flashing a custom rom on your android device so once the process finished the device is now rebooting and let us see what we reboot back into so in fact strangely enough we didn't have to do anything else the device is at the proton aosp boot animation and let us see if we can boot into android or not so it has been a few minutes and i am pretty sure we are not going to boot and that is because we haven't performed a factory wipe so while we are still at the boot animation press and hold power and volume up together this is going to boot us into the recovery so again on the boot animation pressing and holding power and volume up button till i see the recovery there it is i am in recovery at this point i am getting no command how do you enter actual recovery press the power button press and hold and then we are going to press the volume up so again press and hold power volume up bam we are in android recovery and at this point we can disconnect our phone from the computer because that is not needed anymore so here we are in android recovery what you need to do is use the volume rockers to navigate through the different options right and when you see wipe data slash factory reset that is what we need to do so once this is highlighted press the power button and you should see the wiping process at the bottom of your screen in fact we do need to confirm it so yes factory data reset once it is highlighted power button to select and there it is you can see formatting data formatting metadata data wipe complete reboot system now is highlighted and make sure you press the power button because that is what we need to do next and there it is we are back on the boot animation for proton aosp and this time around we should boot into the rom without any issues there it is we are on the setup screen let me skip the initial setup real quick and we are on the home screen let us go into settings go into about phone pixel 5 in the building yes another pixel 5 rom for the mi 11x or the poco f3 and now if i tap on the android version here it is android version is 11 proton aosp version is 11.5.1 security patches from june 2021 let us check out the launcher also so let me go into settings and we can go into apps look for default apps the default launcher here is quick step and you do get i think the google dialer or it might be the aosp dialer i'm not sure about that but anyways there it is peeps yep i think you get the aosp dialer but yes there it is peeps that is how you install proton aosp rom based on android 11 on the mi 11x or the poco f3 and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you